What's up guys, this is the Rifleman and I am here today to bring you the first episode of a brand new campaign following on from the faction vote. So, as you can probably guess, the one of the nations that, that uh, succeeded in the vote was the Ottoman Empire and we will be playing a world domination campaign. So we won't be trying to meet just this victory condition, this is true world domination, conquer the, conquer the entire world. And I think it should be pretty fun because the Ottoman Empire is... It's a campaign which your starting position seems strong, 12 starting regions, but you are heavily you are in decline. All of your regions are shrinking off the bat. Um, you are beset on almost all sides of enemies, such as Persia, the Austrians, Russia, Georgia. There's lots of people that, that want what you've got. And then you end up with the fact that your armies, your standing armies aren't aren't as good in the field as European armies, but that's slightly offset by the mods I've got on, so lots of the Ottoman infantry do get fire by rank, whereas in the, the base game they don't, but the Ottomans get access to lots of really cool melee units, so I'm, in, I'm really interested to try and change up my strategy here, so I'm not expecting to be um, as good at using the Ottomans as I am at using some of the other factions. I think it should be fun. So let's crack on and start off. So, because this is plum, this is going to be an hour special. It is quite weak. Lot, I'll, I'll show you what, what the situation is. So lots of our towns. So we start off down at, down at Cairo. And actually, I'm going to move my microphone a second. There we go. So, start down at Cairo. Cairo, as a city, has almost nothing. and you know, Everything's very basic. Jerusalem almost has nothing in it. Damascus almost has nothing in it. The same with Baghdad. Ankara's a bit better, but it's all still low tier units, low tier buildings. Istanbul, lots of stuff can be upgraded. And we've also got these territories up here, the Balkans. But what I'm going to do with these border territories, Sarajevo, Belgrade, and Ayasi, I will not be defending them. My priority will be to defend uh, Bulgaria and Istanbul until I can build up my strength. So let's take my religious chap and let's bring him back to Istanbul and he can start converting from Istanbul out. And one thing that's very worthwhile doing with the Ottomans is to go straight to your ministers because start from, aside from the fact that your monarch is pretty bad, uh, you've got some god awful ministers. You've got a treasury Guy at the head of the, head of the, head of the treasury is minus 16% town wealth, minus 8% bonus to tax income. Pretty bad, so let's have a look. Plus one army administration, plus one management, it's pretty good. Let's see if I can... Okay, so this guy is pretty terrible, so let's swap him out with Abdurrahman Edhem, because this guy would go up to 5 stars. Let's check out the navy guy. Plus one management, plus one man management to justice, and minus one. Okay. Plus one management, plus one happiness. Okay, so this guy's pretty terrible as well. Like, he's pretty, he'd be pretty much flat and negative for treasury, so he's pretty terrible. This guy's not great. But this guy... I mean... Happiness and religious unrest isn't exactly what we want. Aha! Plus one management to treasury. That's a damn sight better than what we've got, but let's make sure we've not got... So our justice minister is... He's above average. But firstly, let's get this guy in, in the treasury. Then we've got our, the head, who I don't think there's anyone who's realistically going to be that much better than him. But at least we can make him. At least we can make it flat and we suffer no negative penalties. So this isn't a great starting position to be in with these ministers, but it's damn sight better than where we were. So we've only got 7,500. Um, that's because I've started this campaign in custom mode on the Darth Mod launcher, mainly because when I start off at custom, um, the AI seems to actually be a bit more interesting and do some. Do some interesting things. Like, I've never seen Poland be a strong power to start playing on custom rather than Darth Mod early, Darth Mod late. So, I'm going to ignore lots of these guys, lots of these arrows. So, I'm going to want to do a few things like this. Let's take 
Uh, this chap, uh, Baltachi Mehmet. And let's disband the Orta, because they're very, very poor quality infantry. Move them up to Armenia to help offset, or to um, send them up here to uh, dissuade the um, Genoans, not Genoans, the Georgians from being tricky. Let's send our spy, or assassin, to start having a look at the Persians, because they are our enemies. So we're going to want to upgrade the barracks and the cannon foundry to start to build up some sort of army. These infantry are pretty bad, but I'm going to get some um, SRLs and some other better infantry from the next tier barracks. But what I mainly want to do is to start upgrading my economic foundation. So... Pick. Well, I think Ath Anchor is the my most wealthy region at the moment, so let's start to turn around Anchor itself. So let's get this and let's get. No, oh, there's only really cheaper ways to make things better. Um, farms are always good, especially in these territories that I intend to hold. And mines are always useful. Plus 700 to wealth isn't bad. But I'm definitely going to want to upgrade government buildings to help get that repression and growth in. And what I'm also probably going to want to do is knock down tax rates on the lower classes to try and spur growth. And that's... Anchor is growing, but everything else is suffering. Let's put our scholar into Konya and let's get them... Huh. We already start with canister shot research, that's pretty handy. We want to set this guy on to physiocracy to start researching some interesting technologies. Well, to start uh, getting us some enlightenment bonuses. Let's pull this general back to Bulgaria and he too can lose his, his mob. And let's get our you can, you can stay here, keep converting Ayasi. Then let's start to think about trade. Because we are going to be in a global war, we're going to be at war with everyone at some point. But let's try and pick on the people that at least are indifferent. Actually, the people that... Mm, oh, I was about to say, it might be tempting to, to try and get some trade agreements with some of the colonial powers, because they're more likely to stay away. But to be honest, in this game, as the Ottomans, there's not... You don't have a lot of friends. The only friends you think you'd have would be the Persians, but they, they do not like us either. Yeah, the Prussians get blockaded easily. The Marathans might be handy, but we're very much stroking and we're, we're growing an ally, an enemy there. Uh, France will do as well. Nope, they're not a fan. 13 colonies, they usually always like to trade. I swear it must be like a, a feature of the colonial powers that they always seem to take trade agreements. So when they're at the bottom of the barrel, the colonies in the United States are always a good option. Yes, we can't trade with Persia. Should we try trade with Savoy? Nope. Georgia won't trade. Let's try trade with Denmark. 510 smackaroonies. nine grand coming in next turn so we do have our, a protectorate of ours is the the barbary states but we're very much going to have to leave them to hang it like hang them out to dry for a while we've got to get our own our own stuff in order that's the main problem with the, the ottoman empire there's so much stuff you can do but you don't have the money to finance it so you need to be careful you need to be, you need to be very particular about where you spend your money um, even then you can't just pour it all into the economy. Oh, of, co of course. <laughs> so we've got a nice award of major power. And they are... Oh, to help us... To help us fight against the Brits, I suppose. They want us to give away all our border territories for military access. No. And they too will declare on us. Um, but that's okay. Let's call them in anyway. 
But we are going to want to spend our money cleverly. To be honest, it might have been a good option to try and get a trade agreement with Britain to try and prevent them from declaring on me. But this is what I mean when I decided I, was, I wanted to go for a, um, a custom Darth Mod Star. Oh, yes, Poland. A custom Darth Mod Star rather than a, a traditional one because that's thrown a lot of my plans out, out of whack already. Yep, the Persians have declared war on me, so I'm I'm immediately at war on all fronts. To the east, I've got the Persians. To the north, I've got the Russians and the Ottomans. Then to the west, or my protected, protected quote-unquote coast, I've got the Brits. But at least in this campaign, unlike my Greece campaign, I have some strategic depth. And I've got some more territories to actually, to actually, uh, you know, earn earn money, earn cash. So my suspicion is that Britain is going to go for Cairo because Cairo is one of their victory objectives. I know Alexandria is growing. So what I want to do is make sure that. Um, if the port does grow to make sure it's occupied so I get, I get an extra turn to defend to defend my lands trade route raided yeah it's going to happen so the Persians have started to push out I'm going to have to really just ah, too bad these troops are useless but we'll take them we're also going to have to recruit these oh, a militia armed with musk yeah, our musketeers at least. Start cranking out troops as much as I'd rather not. I'd much rather spend it on growing my industry. So, do I? Well, this army, well, this force is going to force army look at it the worst comes to the worst it'll be full back to Istanbul for them I do have some ships but I'm not going to be able to take on what the Brits have got John Churchill and a couple of stragglers off the bat so Cairo has no port currently and there's nowhere really nearby that can actually grow an army I suppose my own, my only option is to build one from build one in Athens. Ooh, risk is of souls. Something like that. Um, okay, so let's start to grow. Ooh, I might want this into a school because I've only got one school. Two would be useful. Um. Do I go for governor's residence that increases repression, or do I go for. So, what I want to do here is to make sure they don't. They can't easily march into any of my territories, especially near my capital. Okay, so I still think the best course of action is to. 2700 isn't a lot to get a crazy amount of stuff out. I mean, we can build, may as well build a provincial barracks. She want to build a Damascus to get a bit more depth. Okie dokie. Because you're, that's, that's, a, that's an abysmal army. <laughs> yep, that's the new town that's emerged and we've got some new buildings, but they're only peasant farms. Should really have sent my assassin to go kill the kill the general. Good. Hopefully that slows them down. That that ship joining them, and it has. Wow. 
what would be incredibly useful is if the Barbary states went <laughs> went and attacked. Yeah, that's fair enough. The Barbary states went and attacked the um, their navy. That'd be super handy. To be honest, it might be worth trying to see if we can trade away that last region with Austria for peace. Just to see if they'd go for it. But still, our trade rolls on. The Persians haven't made any movements. But we're going to be combining our forces. Let's go capture... I want to go take that region that's, it's, that isn't... It's not Esfahan, but it's their other region. To the northwest of Persia. And then try and make peace so I can swing this army e uh, west and do something more useful. Here comes Venice. They're probably going to land near Athens. Here comes the Genoans. So a really good call might be to go Austria, request peace, and I will give you Serbia. Good, because it wasn't earning me any money at all. And at least by doing this, I can group these guys together. Well, even though it's just a... Oh, we get an auto unit. Oh, they've traded away. <laughs> Patras, fine. Okay, I need to build a... Hey, you can build Israelis, start churning them out. Just cheap troops. That's what we need in the minute. Okay, let's up. Hmm. Come on. So I think. Uh, I think George is probably going to declare on me. <laughs> so let's take my spy. Try and assassinate their general. Damn, he got detected. Let's move the army to Tabriz. We can march up our reinforcements. Okay, Damascus, let's build a governor's residence. I mean, I know I'm leaving Cairo completely open, but I'm just... I can't. I need to, def I need to focus my armies. I can't, I can't recruit troops everywhere. And let's build in some roads. Start getting, start increasing, start allowing our towns to actually grow. And I may even have to. Well, so I'm getting seven thousand three hundred. So if I knock taxes up a notch, I get an extra five hundred. And everyone's still happy. Let's check our ministers again to see if we get any good ones. And this guy looks like a good one. Plus one management, plus one for the navy, plus one management. Don't really need him for the navy, and he's about the same for the army. Minus two treasury. Okay, so plus one, plus one. Okay, so he's effectively plus one for treasury. Yeah, he's effectively plus one for treasury and... Uh, oh no, that's happiness. No, he's not that great. Yeah, this guy's more of the same. He's not great. To be honest, none of them are great. Well, this guy's... This Suleiman is... Well, it'd be good for the Navy. Well, he's, fi he's five base. Which isn't bad. So I might just put him, in, put him under the head. I don't need him in the Navy, but the head, I can start to get plus two town wealth and start to increase diplomatic relations with everyone, which is quite handy. And because I'm at peace with the Austrians for now, I want to get this army. See, even now, it wants me to run these guys up around Crimea. I want to get them back over to Ankara and start to pick up some decent troops. In which case, then, spamming troops isn't 
exactly what I need. Especially as I can actually pick some up. I can pick up Israelis in uh, Istanbul. Senat Janissaries are pretty handy. I can send the guns down. Once I, if I can recruit a set of guns, I can get organ guns, but they're... I mean, the nine pounders get me pretty much more, better everything for much less money. Okay, so let's get some. Okay, you do that. Uh, okay, could probably get. I mean, this guy go to Athens, just to act as to boost whatever garrison ends up growing here, and I'll get some pikes to help back them up. So I got 1,100 smackers, and that's probably going to be spent on a fishery, I suppose. Oh no, can hop over to Baghdad. Madrasa boosts happiness for my Muslim population. But they're already really happy, so I'm probably going to knock that down. I would like to build better roads, but I can't. The School of Poetry might not be a bad shout. Because, I mean, it increases research time, but it's that plus two to town wealth that's actually quite useful. Okay, let's do that. I have war declared in Austria and Poland. Good, that keeps Austria busy. They can squabble with each other while I slowly grow my power. So I don't know how much battling there's going to be in this part. There's going to be some when I lose whatever. Is it going to be? It's probably going to be Cairo. Yeah. But that's okay. It's, it'll be a, a nice little uh, British army to chew through, gain some experience for some of my generals. The main priority is economic development. I can afford to lose a border town to the Brits. What I can't afford to lose is to stop my economic investment. And this turn, uh, physiocracy will get researched, which will help dramatically. I need, to, I, I need to get that second school also built in Ankara, so I can, while I hammer down the the trees, the trees that support my economic development, I can also speed down as much as possible the military tree because as it is my army is not great that's why i'm probably starting to oh, george has declared on me yeah as is tradition so these uh, baghdad's gonna be pumping out lots of basic troops just because i need numbers so we've got physiocracy Super handy. Now you want to go for empiricism, which is probably handy as well for that town wealth. So reduces, increases research rate and reduces research time plus three for town wealth. Don't care about colleges at the moment. It's probably better than re reducing building repair costs. So these Fellaheen can go down to Antalya. You guys go here. Pick up the Israelis. Send a light galley. Pick them up. Sail down to Antalya. Deposit your army. Send one of our ships back. Yep, so they are going to take Cairo, but that's okay. Bit of a bummer, we're going to lose out on some cash. But we have no one in place to actually do anything about it, so I'm not going to worry about it. Um, Greece has declared, and it's somewhat tempting to just send these guys north and just to just kill Greece immediately. It gives us a college, but we'd be bogged down in making sure they're not rebelling. 
Can I build... Okay, good. Let's cancel recruitment of these guys. Let's get the Felaine up there as well. So as an army, you've got some fairly okay infantry. You've got some... I mean, you've got a mob, which is still not handy at all. Let's get two camel nomads. They'll be handy. And some Israelis as well. Okay. So, we're probably going to want to build a base mansion. A school of poetry and get the roads going because we want to grow Baghdad. Let's grow you to a craft workshop as well. So we can't do anything about this this attack this turn, but we will next turn when these guys are brought to bear. So you can still recruit stuff up in Istanbul. I can ferry them where they need to be in one turn. Hopefully the guns can ship down to down to the port. Actually, what can be built here? Okay, you are. It's just the cannon foundry. So I do want to upgrade this guy to a school. But I don't want to be worrying about re uh, rebellion at the moment. There's nowhere else really I can spend the money apart from over here in the east. Take Ardabil, then hopefully get peace with Persia, then go take out Georgia and knock them out. Okay, all sounds good to me. Your research is going okay. Actually, I was going to say plug bayonets might be handy, but no, I need the I need the economy boost. Got eight thousand a turn, and we're starting to get raided. I mean, they just—if they're going to raid me, that's even better because then I can just deal with them outside of the town. And to be honest, the local garrison might have been able to have done a good job. It depends on what the garrison was. Maybe if I kill John Church and destroy their army, that might be enough to get them to back off. You want an alliance? And you have to pay us. Nah. Persian army is growing, which is why Baghdad is so important. Because it's going to be, it's a to be fighting a minor slash major right on the border. So I may need to attack to the north earlier than I would like. Such is life. Need to get on the offensive. Like, uh, no, just ought to resolve that. So my hope is that Georgia hunkers down there and doesn't really move. That's the hope, because I can't really do much about it. Not while I've got Persia on the doorstep. If I spread myself too thin, I'll lose everywhere. Yep, so I've lost Yerevan. Do you have any artillery? Do. I mean, you're just basic warriors, lots of these are chaff, and you are bringing up more chaff and some camel gunners. Yes. Too bad my camels aren't going to get there in time. So just start churning out basic infantry. So my guns can get down to the port. Nearly down to the port. Uh, oh, a Hasharan. I mean, you're probably going to keep an eye on what's going on in Central Europe. Traits gate. <laughs> Two of our priests are tired of the people. Ibrahim and Boutrous. Yep, right away. 
So you've got one, this guy here, and where's our other chap? Oh, he's over in... No, I've already lost him. Lists. Agents. This guy in Istanbul, and this guy in Moldavia. Oh, I remember. So he's not no longer as good at converting the population. Good, now our towns are starting to grow. Which is lovely news. Let's build a barracks here in Damascus. Let's get a cobbled roads going. Local fisheries aren't a massive bonus. It's plus 300, but... You know, when, you, when you've got a limited amount of places to spend cash. Not so bothered about a large madrasa. Let's do School of Poetry to get that growth in town wealth for this turn at least. Then let's build up a barracks. What's the next turn? Actually, it's... No, I was about to see if I can make peace with Georgia, but there's no point. Soon, the next turn, these guys will embark, and then they'll go south to engage John Churchill, who'll probably be down here. And then this army, hopefully wants to knock out Ardabil, make peace, destroy Georgia, then this will become my army of the east, and hopefully that flank will have stabilised. At least for the meantime. When you get the Ottoman Empire rolling, the amount of cash you can make is ridiculous. You just got to make sure you can get over these initial humps. Like I said, right now it's a shame we've not had a battle yet, but it's mainly because I haven't got the cash to support a large battle and I've got priorities elsewhere. Temporary, temporary losses of... Ooh. I mean, yes, I think I'm going to do this. Or... Or do I pull back tempo? Actually, no, I've got cannons. I've got cannons to shot. I've got... Yeah, I might give this a go. I mean, the mob's pretty useless. The musketeers are... are they... They're slightly better than the militia. They've got more mob infantry than, I, than I've got and that I can deal with. Actually, I'm going to pull back. Group up with my camels, and then go for it. Because when I've got my camels, I can be a bit, I can feel a bit happier knowing I've got some a mobile, a mobile combat element to hit back at them. At least, by not buying roads in Cairo, it means the raiding armies have haven't had an as easy time. Okay, cannons, embark. I know this is a very conventional looking army for me. Uh, but for now, the plan is to stick to what I know. No, that didn't go well. Disembark the army. Send him down towards John Churchill. And let's take one of these ships to go back and occupy the shipyard. Good. Jerusalem's getting roads. Let's get a governor's residence. Istanbul. I mean, you may as well get a school of poetry. Sophia can stay the way it is for now. Get Bay's mansion in Anatolia. So I don't want to spend money on the madrasa. School of Mon School of Poetry in Damascus. Okay, let's copy up to them. Temptation to wait. But the more I wait, the more they bring up, the more reinforcements they bring up. So I think I've got to go for it, while also funneling reinforcements back up to them, while also trying to kill. Ah. Oh. While trying to kill some of their generals, that would be very handy. 5,200 now. We're going. This, the cost of supporting these armies is, is starting to weigh on us. Yes, 
but soon... Oh, I've got a feeling that's another army that the Britain's going to send our way. <laughs> I think that... Uh, I think they are just going to aggro, aggro us and just be constantly firing armies at us. Which isn't the end of the world. Uh, it would be... Well, we need to win somewhere. We need to remove some of the threats. At least you got rid of the Austrians. The Austrians aren't, aren't a concern now. Well, temporarily aren't a concern. There's nothing to say they won't immediately declare on us at some point. But they are at war with the Polish. So that gives them something to focus their minds on. I mean, you keep... You know, I mean, no. Because I don't want to be called into a war with the Mughal Empire. I mean, you're probably already at war. But I've got enough trouble managing my own wars. Ooh, that's more like what I was after. Okay, the first battle is the Ottomans. Holy cow. This could go really well or really badly. Back to my infantry to hold a position they cannot hold. Uh, so because you, you guys may have played more different factions. Know, have, have a better feel for how different factions play. Um, I know how the Ottomans play and... Uh, the main thing is they don't is they, they fold they can fold very quickly but I don't even have that so I want to deploy it way back so my demi cannon team can do some work let's deploy our troops on the flank I mean, they're going to be firing pretty badly as it is. Oh, yeah. Actually, let's do that. Actually, go slightly ahead of that little trailer. Behind it. Okay, Bashi Bazooks, you're going to deploy at whatever flank looks the most dangerous. From a melee perspective, I've got my water ready. Let's drop my camel nomads on each flank. And there's my general. There he is. He's going to have to put in some work too. Can you focus on... Yeah, go for the general's bodyguard off the bat. See if you can take him off his horse with a lucky shot. Good hit. Okay, now instead, they're going to focus on the camel gunners. So here come the reinforcements. Desert warriors, general's bodyguard, camel nomads. So I'm going to speed up time and just let things fall. Just keep knocking down the gunners. Okay, they're pushing fairly consistently. Okay, so let's take... This flank needs to be ready to move. Bushy bazooks, right. So they've routed, which is good. Still go after the general. You all need to be on guard mode as well. The camels have come back. Felain. Yeah, I'll be lying if I said this wasn't a concern. So let's put our water on that flank. Let's put the Bashi Bazooks on this flank. Hands to shot camel gunners.
plotting. Get these guys in. Get the camels. General's dead. That's perfect. Get them stop. Brown shotting the warriors at the back. Bashi bazooks. Get ready to deploy. Camel nomads. Go get those warriors. Camel mounted warriors to attack enemy cattle. I know it's a good tactic, but I can't do anything about it. Charge the Philaeen. Charging cavalry's. Okay, general, general to hit the hillmen. No, they might have to just bash into the back of these damn. That's my cover. I'm so used to, uh, <laughs> so used to attacking, to attacking uh, Ottoman troops. I just see an Ottoman flag and just go, nope. They're the bad guys now. Good to see they are f they are starting to fall. Good, we broke the Desert Warriors and they're now shattered, so these guys can carry on straight into that unit of Desert Warriors. Felaine Musketeers in position. The general has fallen. Okay, let's get our camels out. I need to hit the tune of Desert Warriors rapidly. Stop canistering the Desert Warriors. Felony Musketeers to engage the Desert Warriors. Ah. This swarm of men. You need to go after them. Our generals died. Well, things are necessary. Devastating impact of canister shot. Let's get them ready to hit the levee behind. Let's pivot these troops. So they've fallen. Push onto the Philaeen. Let's pull a unit of Israelis out. Let's start engaging in musket battle. In the musket battle. These guys really don't want to separate. They've been broken, so get you guys back into the position. Back into a good position. Let's get running. Aha! General's bodyguard, eh? Charge the Orton to the SRA into the uh, Felaine. Let's get my camels into the General's bodyguard. Good to have broken them. Make sure let's kill enough of them so that they don't come back. Camels have scared away the general, so let's charge him into the combat here. Switch them to ground 
one shot. So they're not shattered, but they're probably not coming back. So we've lost a unit of Feline, but it's okay. Safety. Charge and Desert Warriors in the flank. Can't hit these guys. Just charge in. My guys are wavering. Okay, let's get them back out to safety. Let's pull our musket line back. Let's buy us a bit more time for the cavalry charge. Charging the camels and give them some infantry support. Their centre starting to come back, so pound them with round shot. hope is I can now do this. They fall back. So my my ult I can chase them down. I want my camels to run through these guys and chase down the Felaeen Musketeers. Okay, now the time has come to snipe their general. Here's we have to charge a line that has Bashi Bazooks sat in it. It's gone loud, loud. Let's crank up the speed because there's not a lot. Okay, they've shattered. Let's get our camels back. Play. Although they're probably going to run. Charge into the levy. The enemy are disadvantaged by sending cavalry against your camp. Oh, see, as soon as I lay ease up on the uh, Felaeen, you come back. Okay, let's put you guys back where you were. Broken these guys. Redeploy our line. Yeah, let's pull the camels back. Let's halt fire. Let's run our infantry. Speed up time. And play. So they've got the charge off. But we are camels in the cavalry fight, and we should smash them. Then it'll be straight onto the Felaeen. I'm not so concerned about what musketry can bring to bear in this fight. Because we lost three camels, and their cavalry, the general unit, has been utterly destroyed. The Felaeen, I suppose. The last chaps remaining. Such a devastating charge from the camels. But in comes everyone else. And now the 
the swords start falling. And they've broken. Absolutely continue. Just let the camel butt the camels, halt, and just all. You guys all leave. Those guys are routing, we're never going to get them. But just make sure these guys keep chasing down these routing troops. More kills, more better. Because we do need to recruit... Oh, that's perfect. How nice. Because we do need to recruit a new general. Sadly, ours fell on the battlefield. Close victory. It was a bit close. So we need to replenish what we've got. Recruit a new general. Put that town under siege. See, they lost 3,000 men. We lost 1,000. So they do have a... Oh, looks like their troops have abandoned the city. But that could be perfect for us. Because if we can take their city... Oh, especially hot on the heels of a battlefield win, that might be enough to secure a temporary peace. Maybe even trade. Then I can deal with those treacherous Brits. Oh, there are naturally trade occurring upgraded, resources yeah. in this region that are. Yeah, let's build the mine. But first. Recruit new general. Mohammed at them. Troops are going to replenish. To be on oh no, not with a the mortar there. No way, Jose. Get some more Israelis in. Send two more up. Good stuff. Okay, now we've got Cairo a bit more secure. We can actually do something about it. Let's send Damat Ali. Let's go, and I'm actually going to fight this because I want to kill the general. <laughs> actually, I don't... But it's... It's out of this... Of this campaign has gone okay. We're st it's still very much on a knife edge. We're not getting much cash in, especially not compared to the, the amount of work... Uh, the amount of... amount of troops we need to build. One set of guns. Let's put in. Because they've got quite a small line, we can probably deploy quite deep. That's what I want to do. Let's have something like. Let's put some Felleen and the Bashi Bazooks up on this flank. With our cavalry, our general is going to stay sort of safe in the middle. Guns hit the general's bodyguard. It's the Delhi horseman. I just mentioned we never really actually had a, we never had a good look at the troops under our command. To be honest, we've seen most of them often enough. You guys could do with some camels. Pikemen. More volleys in against Mr. Churchill. Our poor quality infantry has not done the trick. We are not causing these guys any real problems. Actually, no, they've cancelled. Well, they've stopped their charge. Charge in, just charge in. Start to cast shot pikes before they get any clever ideas. Danny Horseman, flank around. Yeah, the 
pikemen are going to have a nasty sting in the tail. Uh, not if they route, they won't. Perfect. Form your, form your goddamn line. So it's very easy. Probably not. Eh, melee attack at eight. It's not very good. Go on, Deli Horseman. Intercept Mr. Churchill. Go for him by melee combat. Sending the Bashi Bazooks to go finish them off too. I mean, I doubt these guys are fully. Yeah. <laughs> I was going to say, they've got 300 odd men. So let's pull these guys back. Yep, yeah, their infantry's holding firm. Ego should be fairly devastating when it comes to morale. Second regiment of foot is shaken. Okay, the general's dead. Let's hope that can do something to cure what ails you. The horsemen and set the militia. Push the bazooks, run over here, ready to help fight this combat. Ooh, beautiful round shot. Oh, that's in the battle there. That was a nice victory. I don't think they can air uh, city. Nope. John Churchill is dead. And their army's slightly bloodied, but more experienced for it. Getting us some... Actually, first level hasn't done anything. I mean, the upkeep bounces around because they've been depleted, but they're not... They're not dead. Okay, let's start to fix the corn plantation. Let's fix the coffee house. Let's fix the farm. Because, Cairo... You have stood your first test, and we've repelled them, as we have repelled the Persians to the north. I mean, I definitely want to replenish, because I'm not going to risk fighting no mortars. Okay, let's hit into turn. Because the next British army is on the way. It might even be worth trying to make peace with them after this turn. I doubt they'll accept, because, you know, aggro. But we shall see. Because we will be expanding the Ottoman Empire through Europe. And it'll be interesting to see what, hap what we have to do about the Barbary states, because unless we keep them, unless we let them... We capture some territories in the in Europe and give them to the Barbary states. Like, properly grow them up into our own little empire. Ooh, they've attacked us with a depleted army. Um, I mean, yeah, we'll fight that. Ooh, but looking at the timer, we are, as I speak, about to take over the hour special. The hour, over the hour timeline. So, thanks for watching, guys. Hope you've enjoyed. I hope you've enjoyed the first episode of this new campaign. And we'll see you in the next episode, where we will hopefully decide the matter the matter of uh, Azerbaijan. Thanks for watch thanks for watching, everyone. Cheers.